Hey folks, this is just a really, really short video to talk about the last set of questions that you did. So the first question asked to account for the difference in shape of boron trifluoride and ammonia molecule. So when you're doing this, you have to say something about each thing. You can't just say it about one because that'll lose you half the marking points. So what it's looking for you to tell them is the fact that BF3 has three bond pairs. So if you need to draw that out for yourself so you can see it, then that's what you need to do. So it has three bond pairs. And if you were drawing it, it would be F, F, F. It is the trigonal planar. This is the shared pairs, like so. Um, and the fact that it has these three, that it only has three bond pairs. And the bond pairs will get as far away from each other as possible. So the bond pairs repel each other. And that's why you have the 120 degree bond angle. So that would be the point that you're telling. The BF3 has only three bond pairs. That's what, what the first thing that the SEC needs to know. The second thing that the SEC needs to know is that ammonia has three bond pairs as well. But ammonia also has one lone pair. So when you draw ammonia to go with its uh, pyramidal shape, this is how you will draw it. And this is where the shared pairs would be down here. So it's the fact then that once you have lone pairs, so the rest of the SEC answer is the fact that lone pairs push bonding pairs closer together. Closer together, reducing the bond angle. So the bond angle here between each of these, so in boron BF3 it is 120 degrees, but in ammonia it is the 107. And the reason why you have the lower bond angle is because of the lone pairs pushing the bonding pairs closer together. So these three asterisks, this is kind of an FYI for you, but those three asterisks is what the SEC is expecting you have to account for the differences so you need to say something about each component in terms of bond pairs and lone pairs what do they have and then if there are lone pairs there one lone pair will repel the bond pairs closer together or push them closer together and if you have two long lone pairs they'll push closer again and we're going to see that in this particular question down here so the 2008 asked to account for the difference so then you you figure out what you know so it's already told you the bond angle but water is a v-shaped or bent molecule so dot and across dot and across and the, the bond angle is as it says up here 104.5 the methane here is can be represented like this ch3 it is tetrahedral in geometry so that's why it has the 109.5 so if you're accounting for the differences you need to tell them what does methane have so methane has four bond pairs and they push away from each other as much as they can. So that's giving you the 109.5, whereas water has two lone pairs up at the top and two bonding pairs. And the end of that question then is the fact that the two lone pairs, so the fact that now I have two in water as opposed to one in ammonia, two lone pairs will push any bonding pairs, any bond pairs even closer together. So that reduces your bond angle. Reducing your bond angle. Okay, so again, just to reiterate, you have to say something about methane in terms of bonding pairs. You have to say something about water in terms of its lone pairs and its bonding pairs. And then if there's lone pairs in there, you have to explain that two lone pairs, they are going to repel the bonding pairs or push them so close together 
compared to the joy that is ammonia or even methane. So this one here and these ones, all they're wanting you to recognize is what could be a formula for this. Apologies. So here it has to be, could be CH4. That was the example we gave. So then the shape for this has to be tetrahedral. Tetrahedral and it has to be the 109.5 degrees. So that's a learning thing. You have the same question over two different years, just asked slightly differently. So AB2, your choice is going to be something like CO2 or H2O or BCBCL2. These guys would be the same. So the version for these is that these are linear molecules and their bond angle is 180 degrees. And here, because we have the two lone pairs for water, then your bond angle is decreased and your shape then becomes bent or V-shaped. So you just have to recognize what could a formula be for that could match any of these. So V-shaped or bent is 104.5 degrees. And the main reason for that is because you have these two bond pairs or lone pairs up the top and they literally will repel, push the bonding pairs away from them. So I hope that helps.